Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Suzu Linux 15 service pack number 6 on VirtualBox. Download by going to Suzu official website that is suzu.com. Click on download, then see here we have the Suzu Linux enterprise server, Suzu Linux enterprise micro, base container images and other images. So we are going to install the Suzy Linux Enterprise Server. So click on Download. See here we have the service packs for the 15 from SP1 to SP6. SP means service pack. Scroll down. See here. This is the product description and these are the system requirements. Okay. And these are the recommendations for specific uses. So click on this Download. Once we click on download, we have to create account. So we have to fill all this information. Then select this checkbox. Then click on create account. After that, we will receive the screen to download. Once we created account, we will get the screen like this again. Then click on download. See download has been started. Go to downloads. See I have already downloaded Suzy Linux Enterprise Server 15. Okay, so I am cancelling this one and see here its a size is 15 gigabytes. Wait until download completes. Once download is completed, open Oracle VM virtual box. If you haven't installed Oracle VM virtual box on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Search for Oracle. See here we have the Oracle VM virtual box. Click on it. See these are the list of the virtual machines available on my Oracle VM virtual box. So to create new virtual machine, you have to click on new or select machine and select new. Both are same or simply give control M. Select new, then provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving Suzy 15 SP 6. Then select the folder where you, you want to store this virtual machine files and folders. Drop down, select other. Then select the path where you have the enough space. Then select the folder. Then select Linux. Then next ISO image. Select the ISO image that we have downloaded. Select it and click on open. See then we have to select this skip unattended installation which means it is not automated installation. So select it and click on next. Here we have to provide the RAM size. I am giving base memory sizes 4 gigabytes. Number of processes I am giving 2. Then click on next. Here we have to provide virtual hard disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes. It's up to you based on availability. Then click on next. See this is the summary of the virtual machine. Still if you want to edit you can edit after clicking on this finish also. Click on finish. See still if you want to edit the settings of this virtual machine you have to click on settings or right click on it and select settings or select mission and select the settings see here okay all three options are same now if you are okay with all these settings then click on the start button to start the installation of suzy linux 15 on virtual box so click on start use up and down arrows from your keyboard and select the first option that is installation and hit enter. See here the version Suzy Linux Enterprise 15 SP6. See here now we have to select the product to install. See here we have the Suzy Linux Enterprise Server, Enterprise Real Time, Enterprise Server for the SAP applications and Enterprise Desktop. Okay, but the installation process is same for all. So I am selecting Enterprise Linux Desktop. Then click on Next. 
then select the agreement then click on next now select the skip registration okay then click on next see now we have the these modules i am not going to select any modules if you want to select you can select them and click on next still if you want add any products you have to click on this add otherwise if you want to delete you have to select delete i am okay with these three products then click on next see we have these desktops like genome desktop wayland x11 basic and minimal i am going with genome desktop wayland okay so then click on next i am not going to change anything like see here partitioning i am going to keep as default one so click on next now select the clock and time zone see default it has selected usa and eastern i am going to change it to my local region that is india and time zone select the region as asia and select the time zone kolkata you can click on this map also and i am okay with these two settings then click on next now we have to create the user so i am giving user full name as r2 schools and user name also same then provide the password of this user then confirm the password then see here the check box use this password for the system administrator that is root see this password will be the password for the root account select it then select then click on next see it is saying weak password i am okay with that one so click on s yes. see this is the installation summary if you are okay with all these settings then click on install to install the suzy linux as virtual machine on virtual box click on install it is confirmation so select install and click on install see installation has been started this may take time Installation. See installation completed. Now system will reboot. Right click and remove disk from virtual drive. Now click on username and provide the password that we have set. See we have successfully connected to Suzy Linux 15. now click on show apps then select terminal then increase the font preferences select on name select this custom font check box increase the font select it close it now verify more slash etc os hyphen release see we have successfully installed suzy linux enterprise desktop 15 you want to update the packages sudo zipper update see all are done nothing to do okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install suzy linux enterprise desktop on virtual box for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you